I'm Eric Pratt from U.S. Broadcast, and today we're talking about Media Edge's QD Cam. Make no mistake about it, this is the best replay camera for your money. It is a 240 FPS playback camera capable of bringing in quad 3G SDI into vMix, coupled with a Switchblade server and a Scarhoy XC8. This is the lowest cost way to get high frame rate quality replay into your production, whether you're doing sports or coaching or any kind of uh, situation where you need more than 60 frames per second, 240 frames per second gives you four times slow-mo playback and e at 60 frames per second. And even at 30 FPS, it is gorgeous. We will uh, get into that shortly. Let's take a quick look at the camera itself. So this is the important bit here. It's just this box with a, a sensor in it. It's got a four thirds mount on the front for for the lens and has a bunch of cables on the back, but it's actually simpler than it looks. There's a, a four pin XLR for power. There's uh, this mini DIN for their uh, their remote, their RCP Genlock. Uh, you're pretty familiar with that. And then there's the quad uh, 3G. This is basically just four 3G connections instead of providing um, 4K, which is usually what Quad 3G is for, is it's providing uh, four 3G 60, uh, so you add those uh, 60 FPS times four into 240. So it's just providing four times the frame rate instead of four times the resolution. Okay, so I have created a regular vMix project, 1080p60, and I am going to start recording uh, on my instant replay. We are recording the input here, number five, at 240 FPS. vMix knows that this is coming in via the quad uh, 3G SDI input, and it's parsing all of those inputs and recording them and figuring them out. It's doing that all very quickly. But as you can see, the system resources uh, in this, this is uh, Switchblade's LPU3 are not super taxed. Uh, and then what we'll do is we will mark back 20 seconds. So we've created a 20 second event that is uh, those uh, 240 FPS. And then we will play it back and you can see that it is ultra smooth at 25%, it's getting that 60 frames per second. Even at a 12% speed playback, we are getting 30 frames per second, and even down at 6%, we're getting 15 frames per second, but for the amount of speed reduction, it's an incredible, uh, incredible quality. And then, you know, the, the ball bounces off the board, the players hit each other, we go down to zero, the commentators talk about it, and then, you know, the action resumes, we go to the next spot, the player goes up for the jump, layup, there's, you know, some particularly interesting interaction. So with the Scarboy X8, I'm controlling the speed of the playback very easily. And as you can see, regardless of the speed of playback, it is, um, it is an excellent quality. This is the new bar for player interaction and replay and capture. Um, the Media Edge QD Cam and VMix combo is the ultimate in uh, for the cost of playing back this high frame rate solution, regardless of application, whether it's coaching or sports or basketball, it doesn't matter. This is going to be the new solution to be. Now, if it seems like I'm a little excited about this, that is only because this presents such a landmark change. The, the only way that you can do what I've just shown you it generally involves hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I'm, I'm all about, you know, the democratization of live production. I, I love what vMix has done for the industry. And while not everybody does replay, and not everybody needs high frame rate replay, for those who do, this is going to open up the possibility of high quality replay to an incredibly larger market. And Media Edge uh, has a not just a high frame rate camera, they have a whole ecosystem, they have their own um, device for capturing and playing back high frame rate video, which might be appropriate for you know, coaching, for example, or other kinds of uh, events in order to monetize um, slow motion playback. They also have a fiber pair if you need to um, have this unit be more than the distance that you can run SDI. You can run fiber up to you know great distances. Um, their RCP, I've barely even covered it, but their RCP is capable of interacting with the camera and the four-thirds uh, lenses uh, that have zoom functionality on them and, and shading this unit. So there's, uh, there's a whole ecosystem here just for Media Edge, but our focus at US Broadcast is going to be how this whole system works together to provide 
a, an amazing solution for high-speed replay using vMix and the, the Scarhoy XC8 uh, and any other tools like the Xanus PT head here, uh, which we're using to actually control the iris of this lens um, and, and other things. So it's the whole workflow. If you have any questions about the workflow or the Media Edge camera in particular, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We love talking about this and we're really happy to have uh, a, a new solution for high frame rate replay. Uh, just a little outtake here. Um, the original idea before the kinetic sculpture was actually to use a Tesla coil. So cover your ears. So you can see here the the spark jumping from the uh, anode or the cathode, whichever it is, uh, over to the leg of the LED, illuminating the, illuminating the LED, and a bunch of other tiny little sparks jumping off of it, um, which is not not as demonstrative of the awesomeness of the slow motion system, but still pretty cool.